Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'd like to talk about why is it so hard for some people with schizophrenia or bipolar or depression to get out of bed and shower or do our laundry or brush our teeth or just basic, um, you know, personal hygiene that some people take for granted. So, the factors that I found was many people who have schizophrenia or bipolar or depression or any kind of mood disorder that makes you just feel like heavy and not wanting to do anything and just like, oh, I don't even want to get out of bed. Um, it's hard to maintain a daily routine like that. It's hard to even get the motivation sometimes to get out of bed and do that kind of stuff. I know I struggle with that when I'm hearing a lot of voices, when my negative feelings are coming out and I just feel like what's the point of anything. Um, I struggle with brushing my teeth usually. I struggle not so much with the showering part, but doing laundry or keeping the house clean or just basic stuff like that. Um, so. The other problem is with the brushing teeth and stuff. Many antipsychotics, they, they make it so your mouth is dry. And so without saliva, like saliva is really important because it keeps your mouth lubricated and the enzymes in it keep them clean, keep the bacteria kind of under control. Without that, um, Things like cavities, gum disease, and bad breath can occur. But, um, so everybody talks about this stuff, but nobody really says anything about what can you do or what kind of factors um, can you do to improve or maybe help yourself get back into kind of a good personal hygiene routine, but... Yeah, so here's the steps that are not steps, but things you can do to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so here's 15 things that you can do to help your personal hygiene. Number one is using dry shampoo. So um, somebody said that dry shampoo with short hair, shower products that have amazing scents to entice a person. Um, dry shampoo is like a deodorant, it's clean smelling, um, it makes it look like you have it together even when you're falling apart. So, sorry, I keep moving, it's probably really annoying to keep hearing this chair. Um, but I have ADHD, so. <laughs> there's that, and there's also, I'm not a big fan of it, because I like showering, but there's sponge bathing, which is basically where you take, like, cloth or something and you go to the sink and you wash yourself with it and you just basically do like your armpits your whatever area you know and just keep it clean and it takes minimal effort um, you don't have to do a whole lot and then you just add your lotion add your perfume and then you're done this one I really really like because this one I struggle with a lot and that is the teeth brushing so setting personal hygiene alarms um somebody said i always forget to brush my teeth so i have an alarm set on my phone to remind me to brush when i'm done brushing i wash my face i also have alarm sets to remind me to take my meds and drink a bottle of water so i really like that one i think i'm going to personally try that one and see how that works for me but um, I think that's a great one. And another person said, brushing my teeth is the worst when I'm in that state. So I put a checklist next to my bed every morning to remember to get up and at least do that. Um, at night, since I don't set, since I don't have a set bedtime and sometimes I'll fall asleep before I do, I'll set an alarm to wake myself up and do it. So, I like that. I like the checklist thing too because it makes you, I know this probably sounds really lame, but it makes you feel like you've accomplished something. You can see it. It's a visual representation of what you just did. So, I like that one. 
This one I'm not a fan of either, but using baby wipes. Um, somebody said when it's really bad, baby wipes to stay fresh and decent chewing gum. Usually extra whitening bubble gum flavor. And the thing with gum is it's really good. You can get sugar free or you can get with sugar. I personally like things that my body can digest. I'm not a big fan of aspartame because aspartame sits in your liver for the rest of your life and it just sits there and that's pretty disgusting when you think about it like your liver can't even detox the sugar well the aspartame sorry because it's not real sugar it's just your body thinks it's a foreign substance and that's not good um, another girl said, baby wipes. I will wash my face, neck, chest, basically anywhere that sweats. Okay. Um, for those of us that do not like uh, brushing our teeth when we're in that horrible state, uh, using mouthwash when you can't brush your teeth. So using mouthwash basically takes no effort. It's obviously not the best, but it's better than no oral hygiene at all. So basically... You're killing off it, like your whole mouth bacteria anyway, which is good in my opinion. But yes, brushing and then mouthwash or flossing, brushing, then mouthwash is ideal. But when you're in that state, that's probably a good thing to do because it's literally no effort. It's quick. It's easy. Tricking yourself into showering. Now, this one's interesting. Uh, this girl said, when I get really bad, I write on my arms or legs in pen, so I have to shower. That way no one sees the same pen mark the next day. Another girl said, oh, and this is another problem. If you're overly, like, into hygiene, that's also really unhealthy for you. But this girl said, my OCD kicks in when I'm struggling and I'm able to manipulate it to fulfill my daily needs. I focus on the feeling of dirt on my skin, the oil, the residue, how it feels heavy and like an extra weight. The more I think about it, the heavier it feels and I have to get that weight off. So I take a shower and rinse away the dirt and oil as well as whatever motion, emotions I've been wearing all day. Sometimes it helps. That's a good way to think about it. You're wiping all the negativity off your body. <laughs> Another girl said, I keep my room very cold when I wake up. So I'm so cold, I just want to get in a warm shower. It helps me get my day started with some motivation. I personally can't shower in the morning. I get so tired and then I want to crawl back into bed. But if you're one of those people that can shower in the morning, that's great. It's just not me. This little bun bun is like weird. Um, using a shower seat. Uh, this girl says, I've heard investing in a shower seat helps. I love having a movable shower head. That way it's easier and less strained to get places rinsed properly. Okay. I wash my hair only two times a week. That's really good. And use a shower cap so I don't have to worry about my hair getting wet. I use baby wipes on my in-between days. Girl, that, that sounds great. I like that. Um, my shower personally has two seats in it, so I don't have to buy a shower seat. But I love, 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 love having a shower seat. It's just, I don't have the movable thing, but I used to. Asking for help. Sometimes I ask my boyfriend for help. He'll run a small bath and wash my hair for me. It's very comforting. Oh, well, that's nice. My husband may have to help brush my hair when I'm really struggling. It's great to have that extra love and support during those times. Man. Oh, the only time Dustin's ever done that for me was like a couple times where he brushed my hair. <laughs> I wish. I do. <laughs> Washing hair in the sink. Oh, I do this sometimes, but not under the sink. I do it under the bathtub, and then I just... Shh, done. So, wash hair in the bathroom sink. Ball caps and sunglasses when going out to hide me, not wearing makeup. <laughs> yeah. 
I'll do sink showers where I just put my head in the sink, wash my hair and face in the sink, and if I need to brush my teeth in the morning, which is the hardest for me. I have a special playlist for that. That's awesome. Oh, cutting down extra steps, minimizing the number of steps and activities in the morning. I have a million. Keeping my toothbrush in the shower, for example. That way, it's one less stop in the morning. Picking out my outfit ahead of time so I don't have to think about my appearance in the morning. I never do that. I just don't. I personally, I don't like to do that, but I don't have trouble with that. So some of us may like she does. Uh, taking a bath instead of a shower. Yes, I will usually do that, especially if I don't have to wash my hair. I will take a bath. Um, when it comes to bathing, I do bubble baths with a candle and some sort of bath bomb or bubble jar. It tricks my mind into thinking all I'm doing is relaxing when really I'm bathing too. Win-win. <laughs> yeah, I love baths. I'll do the candles and then I'll put a face mask on and I'll just sit there and I'll be listening to my music and I'll just be like, yeah, this is nice. This is really nice. Okay. Using deep conditioner on matted hair. My hair doesn't get matted, it's so short, but it used to. It used to get super, super crazy matted. And it's because I had blonde, like platinum, platinum, platinum blonde, and then I just fucking have it short. Now it's like down to here, and it's like an A-line bob. So, yeah. Making realistic shower expectations. Uh, so reminding yourself that even if I get in the, sh if, even if you get in the shower, you can just let the water wash over yourself. You don't have to wash your hair if you don't want to. Sometimes that effort is too much. Using deodorant and body spray. Yeah, well, I just use that every day anyway because your deodorant rubs off at night and it's just good. And investing in nice hygiene products because when you buy them, you look forward to using them. I know I do. I buy like really nice shampoo and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to use this. I can't wait to smell like this. <laughs> so yeah, those are your tips and tricks to having a better hygiene, uh, you know, better personal hygiene. There we go. <laughs> so there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe if you didn't. And I will see you guys later. Bye.